Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob Walker here, Light of the World Ministries. In John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. This is not going to be a Bible study. This is going to be more like current and past events. I'm not exactly sure where to start. A lot of times I just do this stuff off the top of my head. But um, there is a book that I'm going to recommend everybody. Uh, you can buy it from Amazon, but of course that'll put you on the list. But I'm on so many lists that it don't matter. You know, if the Lord wants me to escape what is coming, well, he will no matter what they want to do. And if he wants me to go into captivity, well, that'll happen too. But the name of the book is Behind Communism. Behind Communism. By author Frank Britton, B-R-I-T-T-O-N. I think everybody should order this book and read it. It's not real big. It's pretty light reading. Uh, somebody that was interested could read it in one night after dinner. It's not really a book, more like a booklet. Tex Mars uh, has, was reprinting it. You know, I've been studying the uh, world devil movement since, oh, the, the late 80s. Would you believe... Now... <laughs> All right, the, the, the Masonic Lodge loves the um, number 33. For those of you that remember records, as in record players, music, you know, uh, LPs, what they called long play, they were, the speed would play at 33 and a third revolutions per minute, RPM. It's funny, a third of the angels fell from heaven. I wonder if there's any connection there. Probably. But they love the number 33. 33 degrees, right? What I find interesting was I was 33 years old when the Lord grabbed a hold of me and uh, decided to offer me a chance back into the flock. Yeah, I was 33 years old. How, how about that one? Guess how long I've been a believer now? 33 years. <laughs> Who says the Lord doesn't have a sense of humor? What a coincidence, huh? But uh, before I came back to the Lord, um, I was studying the world, one world, you know what, and uh, Mikhail Gorbachev, I called him Garbage Chef. He was premier of the dictator of the Soviet Union. And uh, he told their Supreme Soviet, which was like our Congress, to not worry about, uh, what was it, Glasnost and Perestroika, which is basically they're saying that we're going to open up the Soviet Union and we're going to, you know, uh, no more communism. But he said, basically, don't worry about these things, people. What we're doing is we are going to lull the West to sleep and then smash them with our clenched fist. And of course, Reagan, so-called president, you know, he was head of the Screen Actors Guild. Yeah. Bedtime for Bonzo, one of his movies. Um, Hollywood is so co-sure. I mean, it's just absolutely, you know. They've been programming us for decades. And I mean decades. Uh, you know, UFOs and superheroes with superpowers. And, you know, people are getting us ready for the... Uh, the uh, man of sin, the son of perdition, the antichrist, the beast, by whatever name you want to name him by, the false prophet is going to have supernatural powers. Oh, yeah. 
And I've covered this extensively in many, many other videos. And uh, I'm getting real tired of tube. Uh, I, I go to look for a video and it's gone. You know, <laughs> uh, matter of fact, uh, I had Google Drive and I was backing up all my stuff on Google Drive. And then they sent me a love note saying, oh, you can't back that up. Uh, that is against our policies. They didn't like the message. So I decided to quit paying for it. And uh, they deleted, they started deleting the files on my video. I mean, the files on my computer. I was like, what the? I mean, unbelievable. Uh, you know, my computer. What what gives them the right to start deleting my files? They were deleting all my files. Finally, I had to shut the computer down and then restart it and then um, kill it, kill the program with uh, Taskmaster. Was it Task? Task Manager. Yeah, task manager. And uh, finally, I was able to go to the disable the uh, Google Drive and uh, disable everything. And I had to go and back everything up from, well, I back everything up. I mean, I've got backups of backups of backups of backups. And I uh, was able to restore, I think, most everything, if not everything. I mean, you know, when you got over a thousand something audios and plus videos and uh, all this other stuff, it's hard to know if something's missing. But, but all I know is communism is not dead. They just renamed themselves. Now they call themselves progressives, liberals, democrats, socialists. Uh, matter of fact, uh, I think it was Brezhnev or Khrushchev, leader of the Soviet Union at the time, used the term socialism and communism interchangeably. What does that tell you? So, but I think the, uh, the book Behind Communism should be in everybody's library. And you could read it in a night. You really could. Uh, maybe two nights. It's not that big. Um, like I say, it's a booklet. You know, I, I think it's a... It's about half the size of a regular book. Uh, but it's well worth getting. And the uh, a lot of the information is available in the Jewish Encyclopedia and other Jewish sources, which I have spent a lot of time going through. A lot of time. I mean, it's just amazing. Uh, the things that they admit to each other, but then when I say it, well, it gets deleted or I get called certain names, if you know what I mean. The anti-name. But, uh, you know, it's uh, the modern church world doesn't even know that they have an enemy that cannot have salvation. I mean, they've been so brainwashed by the paid off whores and wolves. You know, they teach, oh, well, anybody can be saved. But that's not what the Bible teaches. And that's why they don't read the Old Testament. Because the Old Testament proves them to be liars. And the Canaanites, they no longer call themselves Canaanites. Now they call themselves uh, Christians and Muslims and uh, you know who's. Rhymes with... Uh, news like newspapers yeah but it has a j in front of it yeah so you know it's just they they don't know that they have an enemy on this earth that's working against them 
and they are in so many positions of power and the Lord's allowing it because the people God's people want the easy path they're like live and let live you know no matter what evil these people do uh, you know we don't want to create any waves we don't want to make any trouble so they allow them evil to do what evil does and of course it helps that the enemy owns the media uh yeah but the um the book behind communism when i went through the news sources from the uh, like the Jewish Encyclopedia, it backs up pretty much everything it's in the book. I mean, I have spent years researching all this stuff, and you know, it doesn't matter. E even if you show people all this stuff, I guess they're they're just blind to it for the most part. They really are. I mean, it's just so vast it's it boggles the mind that they're not even the one percent i mean if they were one percent of the u.s population to be 30 million of them they're not they're less than one percent i don't even think there's 30 million of them worldwide but um it's just unbelievable it really is but everybody should have that and soon the church is going to find out that they're going to there is a uh, false prophecies like the pre-trib rapture they're going to find out how what a lie that was of course they're going to blame it on jesus being a false prophet and a false messiah and you watch a lot of them are going to cave and they're going to deny jesus and jesus said that if you deny me before men that he would deny you before the Father and his angels. Oh, yeah. So, and they're going to worship the beast, the man of sin, the son of perdition, the antichrist. And uh, especially when the um, you-know-whos are uh, the ones claiming that uh, Messiah has come. You watch. All your TV preachers will fall in line and proclaim, oh, Messiah has come, the true Messiah. You know, because they claim that the Antichrists are God's chosen people, but they're not chosen for what they teach, but they are chosen for a destination where they won't need any winter coats for their uh, final resting place, I guess you could say. But if people would bother to read their Bible, they would know who killed Jesus. And it's not Rome. They would know. But they don't bother. I guess, you know, they're too busy watching television and uh, what have you to even bother wasting their time reading what the words of Jesus and uh, the Holy Spirit most people don't even know what Bible to read. And uh, for those of you that are just listening to me for the first time, well, I believe the King James and I believe the Geneva. Oh, Chaplain Bob is King James only. No, I'm not. I like the Geneva too. But, uh, you know, if you want to read uh, the NIV, which is printed by the company that prints the Church of Satan Bible, well, go for it. They also print the Joy of Gay Sex, a how-to manual. Yeah. But seriously, um, communism is a very, very interesting subject. And like I say, they didn't, it, it, it just changed the form. You know, they just changed the words. Communism isn't dead. It just changed the way it looked and changes the terms. And the same group is behind it. 
And for those that don't believe in a sa tan nick lineage of a group of people, well, you're, the church world is about to find out who they are, and they will either be given a choice to die for the faith of Jesus or deny the faith of Jesus. Deny or die, their choice. But as for me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. And that was Joshua. Joshua, not Yeshua. So, and I apologize for not putting out many videos lately. Um, thing is, uh, I'm trying not to get deleted from, you know, uh, tube and uh, trying to fly under the radar here. It's kind of hard to do. It really is. So, like I say, I'm on Rumble. I'm on Odyssey. Um, Brighteon is worthless. Gab is worthless. Bitshoot is worthless. I'm on Mines too, but I don't know. You know, you get tube, new tube. They're all pretty much the same thing. So, what can I tell you? But, um, like I say, if anybody is interested in all my work, let me know. I've got not only my stuff, but I got other people's stuff that's really good too. You know, I may not agree with everything that everybody believes, but, you know, that's all right. Um, what do they say? Eat the meat, spit out the bones. But uh, I have so much material and a lot of material on health stuff. So uh, I was talking to a Catholic lady and uh, I was telling her that uh, the um, medical treatment that they want to give, they were wanting to give everybody a couple years ago had... Um, uh, genetic material in it from aborted babies cloned and she says that can't be true my priest would have told me that I'm like okay I'm thinking well I guess the pharmaceutical industry is lying in their literature you know from their own website I guess right I mean, how many people read this stuff? How many how many people of you do you know that have gone to their websites and read their materials? Well, I guess I'm a weirdo because I am one of those people. So, uh, yeah, it's amazing how fast, how quickly you can learn things when you turn your TV off. So... If it wasn't for uh, people watching television at my uh, full-time job, I probably wouldn't see any TV at all. But uh, even then I'm doing research because I'm seeing what they're teaching on television. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing. It really is. Uh, it's really sad when Harry Potter and all these things and they're teaching the kids actual witchcraft I mean I studied that stuff for about a year when I first came to the Lord because I wanted to know what it was so that I would recognize it in the church so called and there's a lot of it a lot of it so it's I'm not saying I can't be fooled but I try to make it as difficult on the enemy as possible to fool me because I, I know a lot of their um, tactics. So, alrighty. Um, but those that don't believe in a dual seed line, oh, they're going to find out one day. And if they end up denying Christ and following the uh, evil ones, well, 
they can claim eternal security once saved, always saved. Lord, I did. I said a sinner's prayer when I was in seventh grade. Well, yeah, you might have, but you denied me before men, and I'm going to deny you before the Father and his angels. The scariest words in the world to ever hear is out of the mouth of Christ is, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. And that's actually in the Bible, by the way. I never knew you. Boy, that is oof, scary. I hope one day I will hear the words, Well done, thou faithful servant. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. I pray that I'm found worthy to hear those words one day. So, and just remember something, people. Getting your head cut off is, for the, for the sake of Christ, for the faith, guaranteed take it to heaven. Think about this. They put your head in the guillotine. You close your eyes. You know, say, Lord, ex you know, Lord, uh, please help me. Into thy hands I commit my soul. You hear the chump. And then when you open your eyes, guess where you're at? Under the altar of the Lord, awaiting your resurrected body, where there'll be no pain, no more tears, no more crying. Well, if there are tears, it'll be tears of joy, not tears of pain. But So, behind communism, Frank Britton, B-R-I-T-T-O-N. You know, that's, uh, shoo. You know, when you think about it, we've never won a war against any communist country ever. Never. Did we win against Vietnam? No. Did we win against uh, Korea, North Korea? No. General Douglas MacArthur wanted to nuke China. And uh, Truman, president, said, oh, you're being disobedient and relieved him. Matter of fact, we should have relieved Truman and let uh, MacArthur do whatever he wanted. I mean, can you imagine that? I, World War II, they had no problems dropping the bomb on Japan. Chinese troops were killing Americans in Korea. Soviet Russian pilots were shooting at Americans' aircraft in Korea. You know, we never, we never won that war. We called it a draw. You still got North Korea. You know, if we'd have nuked uh, China... The capital of China, there would have been a lot of dead uh, you-know-whos because they were behind Chinese communism. And we can't have that. No. No. You think about it. We've never won a war against communists. Never. And we never will. And oh, by the way, um, on the uh, Army Reserve, well, the reserves website, more than just the army, but a few months ago, I saw that they were calling up reservists and sending them to Asia. Maybe they don't want them in the United States. But somebody told me that the National Guard was being sent down to the border, uh, be allegedly because, well, the excuse is there's a lot of Chinese crossing the border, southern border at Mexico. Now, if you ask me, the guard will probably be underarmed, probably lack bullets, so that uh, when the time comes, when the plug is pulled, the economy crashes, the electric goes off, they'll be simply wiped out 
and the rest of the military will be overseas. There'll be nobody in this country to protect the American people that are part of the military. And of course, guess what? Guess what 50% of the generals in the United States are? Yeah. They're not, uh, let's just say they're of the same group that, uh, same family group as sponsored communism. Yeah. So the military will be gone. It'll either be over in Asia or it'll be wiped out at the southern border with uh, probably, probably have weapons but no bullets. You know, I was a gate guard for a while in the army and they gave me a rifle with no bullets and I was guarding a nuke facility. Yeah, can you believe that? Finally, I complained about it and I says, look, if you want me to carry a rifle, give me some bullets. If you're not gonna give me any bullets, take the rifle away. Oh, uh, they gave me five bullets and then they ordered me to keep the rifle. I was like, really, five bullets? Uh, okay. But they gave me a direct order, so, you know. I mean, seriously? Seriously? But, um, I don't know. I keep thinking they've been going to pull the plug for a while, but, you know, I, every, every year they wait, it's another step closer to complete total domination. Cameras on every street corner. Uh, you know, they, they it's just, you know, they got, they got rid of cash for clunkers. All the modern cars have kill switches in them that they can uh, remotely control. They can kill your old, your new car so that it won't run. Uh, they control the food. And that's been a thing of communism for a long time, controlling the food. Absolutely. Uh, an army, uh, people cannot fight when they have no food. They slowly starve. When the body doesn't have food to repair itself, disease sets in. So, you know, they've been doing this for a while. And the head leader, Satan, uh, he knows our strengths and he knows our weaknesses. And he will absolutely use them to his advantage and his children. That's right, Satan has children. He really does. And I'd love to do a series on it, but uh, yeah, I want to keep my channel up. They know who they are. I know who they are. But very, 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 very few in this church world knows who they are and is willing to talk about it. So what can I tell you? So all I know is get your house in order, spiritual house, physical house, prepare yourselves. Um, oh, and by the way, Chinese have what they call police stations all over the world. Trudeau let them in Canada. From what I understand, there's at least one in New York City. And they're probably in other places too, but we just don't know about it because the news doesn't tell us these things. Can you imagine that? Communist Chinese police stations all over the world. And uh, you better believe when the time comes that uh, when the crash happens, uh, it's going to be total chaos. You know, power goes out, no food, people rioting. Uh, we won't even mention the uh, racial characteristics of a certain group of people that love to riot and burn things down. Uh, but don't be surprised if they call in United Nations troops and China is probably going to be one of the biggest providers of those troops to restore order as in the new world yeah at least that's how i see the plan you know looking at the past predicts the future the bible does the same thing you want to know what the future holds look what the lord did in the past 
you know and you want to know what the Satan's going to do look at the past that's all I can tell you and the Lord is going to allow all this because his people are not doing what he wants them to do they're wicked and a people that refuse to heed the Lord's words well they're of no use to him the Lord allowed Israel to be carried away into the Assyrian captivity and the Lord allowed Jerusalem to be taken captive in the Babylonian captivity and people won't even bother to believe that the Lord would never allow some evil to come upon his people as judgment for wickedness. Now they'll teach the pre-trib rapture. Well, I got news for them. Ain't going to happen. So... All I know is I feel like my time is running out and honestly I think my work on this earth is just about done I really do uh, I think I've done what I basically can so if anybody wants uh, copies of my work and other people's work you know if you uh, if you have an SD card reader, that's the best thing in the world. Uh, 128 gig SD card, man. <laughs> a lot of information. Take you months to go through it all. I got all kinds of books in PDF form. Because when the power goes out, the, well, the internet will probably go out. They're not, you're not going to be able to get all this information anymore. I have been copying stuff for years. Got all kinds of health and medical information too. So they don't want you healthy. They want you sick and poor and yeah, it's, it's pretty sad. So what can I tell you? Well, all blessings, praise, glory and honor in Jesus' precious name. Amen.